Good everybody, Type 40 Artist here, and today I am going to be doing some Aboriginal art. Now, despite my pale complexion, I do actually have Aboriginal heritage, so I'm technically allowed to do Aboriginal art. Uh, however, the way that I'm doing it on the computer is probably going to be frowned upon by traditionalists, but I'm going to go through it uh, anyway. So basically what I've started off here with is uh, a Procreate brush, uh, just basically to get a reference because that brush really reminded me of some of the um, shapes and things you will get in uh, Aboriginal art. Now, none of this is real. There's probably some um, symbols in here that are traditional Aboriginal arts, uh, like that uh, curved one up in the corner. That is an actual uh, Aboriginal symbol. Uh, I may go through that later or possibly in another video, but um, essentially what I'm trying to get at here is that I've uh, used the brush as a reference. I haven't copied it exactly. I just basically wanted to use it as a reference, get kind of the shape um, and the, the width that it had um, really well. I've then gone around those shapes with white dots and then continued to go around them with um, other colored dots. Now, the beauty of this piece and the beauty of it being digital is that I can change the background as I like. Uh, so I've actually done this in a few different colors, done it in this uh, nice burnt orange reddish color, along with this uh, purplish bluish color, which has turned out really nice. Now, the next one that I'm going with um, is a very much more modern uh, depiction of Aboriginal art. You'll see this kind of art in um, like airport gift shops, things like that. Uh, it's very much more stylized than what traditional Aboriginal art is. Um, so again, traditionalists won't like it for that reason in particular but also because I'm doing it digitally, uh, it will feel like cheating to a lot of traditionalists. Um, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, I've gone with um, these turtles, which is a um, design that I've adapted myself. This kind of broken look is something that um, I came up with to, to basically separate my work from my mother's work because she did a lot of commercial Aboriginal art when I was growing up, which is where I learnt this and kind of where I got into art, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that uh, broken look uh, where the limbs are detached from the body and things like that, that is a signature of mine. Um, and, yeah, so I've gone around with um, trying a few different patterns for the background and whatnot just to fill it in make it look more complete because at the moment it didn't really look complete I ended up giving up on the background for a little while um, and patterning the animals instead um, now we'll go through some of this because like I said this is more um, contemporary art for Aboriginal art um, but there were still depictions of animals in Aboriginal art and when there were depictions of animals they would essentially try to um, depict the insides of the animals. So this one I've got some hash work just to really um, show how thick that shell is and how much uh, fat there is under the shell. There's not a lot of actual um, intestines and things like that which you will see in some other Aboriginal art. Um, a lot more hash work it keeps it simple and i thought that it worked well with the theme that i was going with being the different colors going in a spiral um so yeah then i've gone back in trying a few other different things on the backgrounds um a few different uh patterning techniques i didn't really like them and then i've gone back to that um brush that i used before traced around that in the um, dots. I have just completely traced this. Another reason why traditionalists wouldn't like this. It's basically stencil work. But um, 
yeah, it's uh, it's worked out well for the look, which is what I was going for. Uh, this may be a little bit revealing for my process, but um, I will use the tools that I've got to get the look that I envisioned. Um, or sometimes I don't have a set look to envision and I'll experiment and, and go with that. And um, yeah, then I you probably can't see very much, but I've just gone around these outlines with... Um, a kind of bluish color or a few different bluish colors and then um, towards the end I changed the hue of that another digital art trick but um, yeah this is the process that I go through um, now I, I would speak more about the um, ethics of doing it this way traditionally this is very different to what they would have done before uh, Australia was uh, founded by the English, but uh, like you wouldn't see a lot of dot work and things like that. There was there was very little actual dot work, um, but uh, yeah, I think the the evolution of the art style um, in one way uh, furthers our culture and keeps the culture away in one way or another. Uh, it's not exactly what it used to be it is now something new um but it's something kind of cool as well and with that i will say goodbye and if you haven't liked this video already make sure to do that and if you're not subscribed uh do that too to see lots more of my content